I love the whole cursive in the um, the in the font uh, style stylescape one. I feel like it's not too much. It's like the perfect type of feel. All right, cool. So I'm just going to share my screen. So Starscape's presentation. So I just want to recap on our values. So your brand values are authentic communication, um, you know, drive to grow beyond just the norm, creatively open-minded and community driven collective. And I really think these are solid. And then just to recap on the spectrum, the band's spectrum that we went through. So as you yep. can see, we really went for the feminine raw, um, you know, a bit mainstream round playful type of vibe. Um, and you can see where we all put those points there on this on this. Sorry, uh, I have a quick question. Yes. Um, is it okay if I? Oh, you're recording this? Yes. Oh, um, would I be able to get like a? Well, would I be able to download it after? Yeah, yeah. Any can, chance? Sure, sure. I can send you the link. Okay, cool. Thank you. No worries. All good. Okay. And now we're just gonna recap on our user persona. So our first user is his Josie. Mm -hmm. um, I know, saw a Josie. I saw. <laughs> Josie, I am not Did kidding you? you. I was in the, <laughs> yes, I was in the laundry mat, and I was in the laundry mat, and I saw this girl coming in with like two bags. She was wearing this like baggy, kind, not super baggy, but like yeah. not denim pants. She had like um, um, like like combat boot type, like <laughs> gothic type stuff. Yeah. But and just like a regular t-shirt, and her hair was like tied, mm. and I was just like, that's it. That's <laughs> Josie, it was so cool. It was a cool moment. That's amazing. That's so cool. You're you're able to see that like in real life. Like yeah. that's, that's yeah. so cool. Like, oh, it's an awesome, awesome feeling. So cool. I love that. Thanks for sharing. Um, So yeah, so Josie, you know, as we know her, like she hangs out at local cafes. She loves listening to tracks. She's attracted to, you know, these boutique um, brands. She's into music. loves chilling on the weekends, driving, going for drives. She's very curious as well. Um, and she's also into books and she's very introverted. So Starscape 1. This is aimed mainly at Josie. So I'm just going to zoom in here. So here's the overall style of the, from the big picture. And as you can see, as I go to the left, I really went for fun, vibrant, and minimal in this one. So you can see the use of the rounded typeface and then using a little bit of the script font, um, not to, not overboard, but just to add that element. Yep. You can, and you can see sort of incorporating sort of that logo of, of those musical notes and trying to incorporate it in the L and the T. And then using sort of this film grain texture in the background to really get that playful vibe into it. Mm, and then cool. you can see some of the colors here. So we've got like a, a bright, not too of a neon, but a, a nice pink and blue, which is a contrasting color. And then using some creams and, and dark blacks in the background for contrast. Then you can see um, Josie there just chilling out. And then you can see some elements We've got this texture of like this fabric, marble, organic type of fill um, mixed with the paint. But then incorporating, incorporating like typography in there um, that's sort of not too loud, but it's still bold enough to stand out amongst that, you know, color and texture. Gotcha. And scroll through in here, you can see some examples of how maybe a music poster or, or a vinyl um, type of design could look incorporated with like typography um, that's very bold. And then you can see some use of like gradients. I really liked how this business card had this like gradient and it sort of has that fabric feel. It's not um, just a standard color, but it's, it's a mix, which I mm -hmm. think is really nice. Then you can see some examples, maybe for Instagram, how it could look and just found this really interesting type of texturing as well. Um, that just has this intricate uh, vibe to it um, that could be utilized. And then on that's the right- That's one of my favorite albums. Oh, wow, awesome. <laughs> uh, that's cool. And then on the right, you can see some use of solid shapes. So originally you mentioned like a, a logo that's like sort of like a logo mark. And so on the right, you can see very simple how it's very bold as well um, in this style of logos. And it could work in a, in a simple square shape and then incorporating, you know, trying to combine those two letters of L and T would be interesting. And then you can see in the back there, just like the grain texture and then obviously some symbols. Um, it could be for like a label or a sticker or something like that. Cool. So that is Stylescape 1. And just save feedback for the end. We can discuss about it. So Stylescape 2. Um, first, we'll, we'll just remember Daniel. So he's our second guy. Um, he's the sporty type of guy, a bit of athletics when he started growing up. He's very passionate about music and um, he's, he, he's a dropout and he wants to pursue um, and jam out, you know, pursue music and he usually jams out on his guitar. Very chilled guy. 
Um, he also, you know, works long hours as well. He's trying to shift to doing his own business and own personal brand. Um, and he needs guidance from a coach to improve his voice. So that's Daniel. And this is Starscape number two. So this is a bit different, a bit more on the um, risky side. Uh, mm-hmm. So you can see here on the left here, once again, using um, this typeface is more of a bold typeface. It's sort of incorporating it with the shape and seeing maybe how we can put a tagline in there. I put vo- vocal mm. coaching in there um, just for uh, a placeholder there. Mm-hmm. But, um, you know, even the, the, the words by itself in your name could work as well. And then you can see in the typeface on the left, um, really keeping it simple, but supporting that bold um, headline. And then you can see some texture in the background, um, lots of grungy vibes there, um, very you know, concrete type of you know, texture. And as I scroll through, you can see Daniel smiling there, chilling. And then you can see some halftone texturing in the background incorporated with maybe a little bit of illustration and then some typefaces overlaid on top. And I sort of liked this interesting retro colors, not too 80s neon, but I, t- I, I kind of liked the um, colors here. And then also the typography was very interesting in the way they contrasted the outline and then the, the fill effect. And then once again, you can see on the bottom here, you got some nice green texture, um, which I feel like works really well. And then using some elements of their bold typefaces. So thinking of how we can stack the name or how we can incorporate um, text in there um, with some like little illustrative elements, as you can see here, like little doors and stars in the background for maybe a poster or a social media post. And then you can see an example of like a business card or how we can use text that can be more fun and playful um, with a nice shadow there. And then as we go into the right hand side, you can see some more examples of like a bold font and incorporating it with, you know, some texture or fabric effect. Um, that's really, really clean there. Now I'm just going to zoom back out. So that is Stylescape 2. And these are the two Stylescapes together. Awesome. I love it. <laughs> I love it. That's a good response. <laughs> awesome. So, so what I would ask you is we need to really pick one Stylescape so we can... can move in that direction so when i yeah. create the logo um because the logo on these scapes are not concrete so they right. need refinement and stuff like that um so it would be great if you can pick one direction and go with that flow but first i'll say what what are some elements that stand out to you on stylescape one um or two or maybe you just want to go you already like number one or two and you just want to go with it so that would be my first question sure um, first question is, I love the whole cursive in the, um, the, in the font, uh, in style, stylescape one. I feel like it's not too much. It's like the perfect type of feel. Mm-hmm. Um, but number two is like, I think that's it. Like that's the one, you know, mm-hmm. but obviously everything is, is, is not, nothing is concrete. So it'll be like, you know, our our version but i i would definitely feel like stylescape number two is more what i feel like um we want to go for Mm -hmm. and how does the colors on stylescape 2 feel like what what do you feel do you feel like it resonates with um our our persona of daniel um do you feel like the purple is too bright is it too saturated? Do you feel like it fits? I'm not well? sure. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Um, I, I, at first, I felt like it didn't fit, but now that I'm looking at the more, I'm looking at it, it like it totally fits. If mm-hmm. that makes sense. Mm-hmm. Um, but I think I kind of like that because at first it's like, like, what is this? And then after a while, you're like, oh, this is actually like, pretty cool. Mm. Um, so I like that it does that to me. Um, mm. Okay. Um, I'm not a huge purple fan. I think that maybe that's why mm-hmm. I, I'm like, I'm not too sure. Um, but I love the whole like, um, just in my face. Mm. It feels loud, and right? I, It feels I, loud, but purple is not too loud. And, and I, I think that's why, mm. that's why I, I'm okay with it. Mm. Mm. Um, yeah. But I'm also open to other other colors too. But I think the 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 color in Stylescape One is um, a little too um, a little too flat. 
It was a flat. Okay. Yeah. What about this um, pinky, pinky color on the? Oh, I love card. the whole gra gradient thing. I'm sorry. When I say flat, I feel like um, I feel like um, the purple would just be. I guess it's more neutral mm. base. Um, mm -hmm. And it and it. I, I don't. I, I don't think I know any brands that like are really purple. Mm. Um. And I know like with, with pink, you know, Victoria's Secret and pink and mm. there's like a lot of other girly stuff, um, but purple, I don't really know anything that mm. I can, you know, put a brand to. So I, I think I like that. I like that. Um, mm -hmm. and that's but I, I do, want... I do like the, I do like the gradient thing. So um, the cursive and the gradient stuff, I, I, I feel like those elements are really cool. Okay. Okay, cool. Sounds great. Um, and how do you feel about the typeface? Do you feel like that's bold enough? Because you really want to be fun, loud, like that bold look. And I remember we picked the word like bold, respectful as well in yeah, the yeah, yeah. tone. So do you, I feel like um, it fits well with, our, with, our, with Daniel, like our character. Yep, oh. yep, definitely. I, I love the love the bold in, in number two. Um, but mm -hmm. I still like some sort of cursive. So I don't know, like maybe we can add like cursive mm -hmm. where, where it puts a vocal coaching or something like that. Or, yeah. Um, mm -hmm. I don't know if we could, but I still want to incorporate a little bit of that cursiveness. Yep. Beautiful. Yeah. Awesome. But that would be it. Okay. Amazing. Okay, cool. Um, so what I'm hearing is you love the, the cursive font and a bit of that gradient type of um, mix of color from Stylescape mm -hmm. 1 but we really want to go with Stylescape 2. Um, we like the purple color. It really differentiates us and it also appeals to Daniel because remember, it's not about us or you. It's about th our customer. Um, and yeah, and we like the standout. The texture is fine. Uh, and we really like this bold text, but we want to incorporate those two elements from Stylescape 1. Um, and you are open to expanding the palette, possibly having some of these maybe neon blues um, or yellows mixed in with the with the color, uh, but not too of that. Not we don't want the we don't want anything flat. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm hearing. W would you say that's would you do, would you agree on that? Yes, sir. And I also love the um, grungy look. The grunge, um, the texture, right? Yeah, like yeah. Uh, so like I'm not like I know how that can get overplayed. Yes, I, you know what I mean. Um, and so that's why like and but for me like I'm such a grunge person like I like you mm -hmm. know what I mean But yep. but I don't want to overdo it. But the way you've placed it. I think is really cool Exactly <laughs> <laughs> ah, awesome. No worries. All right. Thanks so much. Have a good night. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Take care